Oh yeah! Here we are again. Mr. Tex and the Black Pants Legion gonna play some Fallout. The original, the OG, welcome to 2161. Now, as you may recall, um, I helped myself to some people's things. That's fine. They didn't need them anyway. They didn't need them. You know, I know they didn't need them because I said so, all right? Now, if, if, if we go over to my pit boy. Yeah, all right. Stop the rad scorpions, done. Vault 13, find water chip. Nothing, nothing cluttered. By the way, small fun detail. I'm sure I mentioned this last time. If you make this go to December, uh, December 25th, it does play Christmas music. Or it has a Christmas, has a Christmassy bit, don't it? All right, run, you shit. There we go. I love that run. Fallout was such a wonderful setting for so many goddamn reasons. Then they made it really, really weird. So the next place we're going to go is Vault 15. Vault 15 is another vault. Oh, God. The scorpions are pissed. All right, I'm going to try to get away from them. Oh, well, my hired muscle does some work. Arg, he says. It is not dead. Yeah, I I, I need to have uh, item one. All right, all right, all right, all right. You need five points. Maybe I should flee. This is one of the first games that really taught me that um. The game world doesn't care if you live or die. It really doesn't. You're just a punk. You could die at any time. God, playing this in high resolution is freaking me out. I, I, I feel like I've broken the game. I can see more than I should be able to. Yeah, take that bullets right in the face, Mr. Scorpion. I will destroy you. Oh, well. Nice. Combat is ended. 330 XP, man. I can take some of this shit to sell. The soundtrack to Fallout was one, it, it's, it's a lot of this ambient shit. And it's it, it's just really spoopy. Games of this era, by the way, had wonderful soundtracks. Uh, the original, um, is as you may remember, the original uh, Homeworld had a fantastic fucking soundtrack. Except for that last song by, I think it was, well, let's let's not get into that last song on the original soundtrack entitled Homeworld. Let's not talk about that one. So as you can see, that was the cover for this Fallout. This would be a weird vault to get into, because you'd have to come down these ladder in a hurry. It doesn't look like it did them any favors, mind you. Oh my god, rats. Well, one less. Everything is XP. Everything is XP. Always treat everything as XP. Rats, people, people, rats. All right. Squeak, says the rat. Bang, goes the gun. All right. Oh, oh, he's coming at me. All right. Prepare for shootery, gentlemen. God, using a 10 millimeter on fucking rats? That's how you know you've got a really grim, dark future. Oh, uh, yeah, what kind of rat rounds are you using? 10 mil? 
10 mil JHP. Jesus, what kind of rats do you have? Oh yeah, they're cast iron. I saw some years ago where someone took this game and made it really fast turn-based. Like two seconds or, uh, or less a turn. And it was a very manic sort of feel to it. It was, it was kind of like in Guy Ritchie movies where he does those really quick action sequences where, like, you know, the guy, the well, he did it in the Sherlock Holmes where he shows the rapid, quick action in a fist fight. You know, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. And, and, and it leads to this very strange sort of uh, sequence. And that's, that's how this feels sped up. So I'm kind of glad it isn't that. Yeah. All right, let's make sure to reload our rat gun here. Here's here's my love fallout. Is is that that little locker there? You can interact with that. And the first time I saw that in a game, I, I was really blown away by it because I said, "Wait, that's not just map painting. That's not just a part of the scenery." No, it's it's important. Love that also, the holster effect. I can't throw? Must throw. Must throw flare. Maybe not enough XP. God, I haven't played this in a while. I'm starting to feel uh, clumsy. Oh my god, what is that? Your aim is blocked. Your aim is blocked? What's going on? Metal Gear. This is one of the first games, by the way, that was hex-based um, and had any sort of decency to it. I mean, I'm not saying this is the guy who envisioned hexes before everyone else did. There were a lot of uh, tabletop games before this that were... Oh, God. It's it's not good. All right, hold on. We got to we got to blow this thing up. Got to shoot it right in the right in the peepers, all right? So next turn I'm I'm going to do aim shots. Oh, thank God he didn't kill me. Look at all the hit points he All right, you know what? Here we go. We're going to aim and shoot his head meats. I missed. I have missed a rat. There we go. God bless America. Well, what what remains of it at this point? This is where the rope comes in handy, by the way. I'm just I'm gonna walk around the remains of this place. There is nothing really left here. This vault's already been looted thoroughly. And it seems to have fallen into massive disrepair before that. Yeah. It's all worthless. It's all destroyed. It's missing screens. When I first came in this vault, I thought, yes, I'm going to find a vault. But then the door was missing. It was the first thing I noticed way back in the day was, oh, the door's missing. Well, that's not good. That lets the bad in. The thing I would note, though, is it looks like the gear door here is missing some teeth and there's score marks. Someone blew their way in or out. And these sorts of details are why I kind of miss this style of map painting stuff. What I hated, though, was like Pillars of Eternity, as you may remember that. Pillars of Eternity had some kind of painted looking stuff, but then the characters look really out of place on it. 
Also, it, it didn't in any way feel like a spiritual successor. It just felt empty. Pillars of Eternity really felt empty, and I'm really disappointed in that. And then they were like, we're going to do another one. And I said, are you smoking crack? Who's going to give you money for that? All right, let's use this rope. Took me a bit as a kid to figure this out. Like, how do I go down? You have to use the rope, dummy. Oh, God. Fucking mutated animals. Thank God I cast bullet! I cast gun. Go, go, gadget justice! Sometimes you will hear Windows sounds in the background. This game is not completely beloved by Windows. And I don't believe in editing, nor do I even have time to do so. <laughs> not anymore. Oh, God. This is not going to be a smooth, a smooth product, but I, I've not made a smooth product in so many years. I don't think I know what one looks like. God damn, I'm a fucking murder machine. Beautiful. No, not beautiful. I fucking missed. Giant rats. Ugh. Probably have germs the size of fucking turtles. Yeah, Alright, you ready? I'm ready. For more justice. Oh, fuck. I love how everything explodes when you're good at stuff. Also when you're bad at stuff. I gained a level. Look at that. Alright, so now I can choose a perk. Oh, yeah. Awareness. Just being able to see more stuff. Back when that was important. It just fills in here, but... Quick pockets is good. Smooth talker. Mmm. Increase their options in dialogue. Swift learner. Let's, let's use Smooth Talker, so I can talky talk. Small Guns is now 100. Now, it does go above 100, and people go, what? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, Repair. Science is at 40. Steel is, uh, let's move Barter up a few points there. Outdoorsman. And let's do some first eatering. God, what a shithole place. Oh, wow. That creature seems not to be bothered. It's about to be bothered. That is the sound of me forgetting to reload. Boom, bitch! Oh, God. Rat attack! Alright, here we go. I am being rat attacked. What will I do, gentle viewers? That fucking gun. Now here's a question for you. Some of you will probably have input on this. Let's say you were a wasteland wanderer. What would your gun be? What would your item or weapon of justice be? Oh wait, they're around that thing. I don't care anymore. What would your what would your trademark be? Other than like glorious violence. Yeah, I saw that locker. I'm gonna open that shit. More rope and armor. Look, man. Some people are the road warrior. Some people become the road warrior. Now I see I see some other items over here that I need. Bang. Now the first vault in this game, as we found out, is essentially empty and dead. It, it's full of rats and everything. 
which I think is is really interesting as far as a choice for filling it with monsters goes. Because one, you have your level one adventure joke, like, oh, there's rats in the basement and you gotta kill them. And I'll give you a whole cop of coin. So it's kind of a nod to old role-playing games, but it's also a nod to... In many cases, I would say that this is really a a nod to how far things have fallen. This place has been swept out, cleaned out, fucked up so much that it's stripped out and all that's left are rats. The rats feeding on civilization, as it were. And I think that's really key. All that's left are just the rats feeding on the bones of this place. So it's thematic as well. And I, I always get that feel from from childhood. You know, I see all the bones of these people. It it's like a, a bear's den. This is this is not a giant repository of glorious technology. This is not a best hope of humanity. This has just become a fucking den for stupid animals. And then you wonder yeah, I remember feeling the first time. Wondering as a kid, are we alone in this setting? Is our vault the last one? Are we the last one out there? Are we the last remnants of what civilization and society used to be? And that kind of made me scared as a kid. It, it made me realize, like, oh, goddamn, wait a second. What if we are... All right. Ooh, yeah. Gooey. Gooey. All right, so a lot of fucking animals in here. I need to remove them. If you get a lot of points into uh go fast, you can absolutely annihilate people in combat. Because you'll, you'll just get so many turns, you'll go first, and you'll just go bang, 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 and you win. High perception in this also gets very funny, because you can just shoot people in the face. Like, cold shot, face, I win. And what I do like about this system is it is high lethality. It doesn't start getting, uh, didn't really start getting bullet soaky. Until the boss of, like, Horrigan in, in Fallout 2, which hopefully you guys will stick around and watch me play. But uh, Horrigan I found to be really, really soaky. But for the most part, I found that if you had big guns and knew how to shoot them, you win. You just blow them away. They're, they're, they're stupid. You're awesome. You win. This is a large pile of rocks. There's like nothing left of the fucking vault. Bleached animal bones. At least you think all the bones are animal. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing left of the vault other than these two lockers and all these burned out, stripped out consoles and rust. But, yeah, this, the Fallout 1 and 2 had a very different feel. Then Fallout 3. And I am I also like that as part of the... Oh, thank God, fucking submachine gun. Yes. As part of that feel... I find it's that in Fallout 3, you got a lot of... Yeah, dynamite. Uh, Breakfast of Champions. I, I feel that... um. Part of that feel, as it were, is that this game was not about silly damage soak. Where Fallout 3, I always get that feeling of damage soak. I always got that feeling of it. I, I felt so weird in Fallout 3 where I'm shooting this guy in the face a hundred times with a machine gun. Right, single fire, yeah. 
it's a submachine gun. I know it's it's kind of a waste to do it like that, but a lot of rounds in the magazine at 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 once, and uh, that means if you get cornered by something that's actually genuinely scary, you put it on burst. But guns in Fallout One and Two are a very different animal. They they feel very 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 dead shooty, especially when you get fantastically good with them. Your amount of uh, yeah, see, this is where the water chip would be. Your character realizes it. He's like, uh oh. You are able to determine that the command and control center is definitely buried under even more rock. You will have to look for the water chip elsewhere. Elsewhere, the water chip. Let's kill the rest of these things and uh, move on to elsewhere. But yeah, it's it's one of those things of you realize how dead this world is. This is a vault that's pretty much just like yours. And you can go back to yours, and yours is great for a while. But we'll get into that. If you've not played the original one, uh, this is on Steam. But there's many other places where you can find this. And I encourage you to give the original a try. There's quite a bit of replayability, at least in your character choice. Uh, if you want to be a sneaky bastard, this this game can be very fun. If you want to be a snipe man's, this game can be really fun. If you want to be talky, this game can be very fun. Like he still spins the fucking tin mill. It's glorious. Well, no water chip here. Onward to brighter pastures. Or at least more desert. I'd heard someone was going to try to remake uh, the original Fallout and Kinchi, which I would I, I would find interesting. All right. Next step. Let's let's go to the hub. Shall we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> you nearly fall over some rough terrain. They could use some environment management out here. Nothing out of the ordinary. All right. Oh, the cons. You want to fuck up the cons? You want to see if we can? All right, gonna die, gonna die saved. All right, this this can be very tricksy. You need to see how much uh, ammo I got. All right. Burst! I missed. I'm not great with submachine guns, but I hit him for 22 hit points. He's dead! And I killed him. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm good. Uh, nope. No, nothing. I just need this guy's corpse. What do you drop? Oh well, yeah, combat armor. Very important. Combat armor. Wow, old cardboard boxes have survived this long. That's amazing. Mmm. Now I have better armor. Alright, 
Let's deal with the rest of these guys. Oh, he's here he comes. All right. Burst to chest. He was hit for 25. Kill this fool. We'll see. I just hope... Oh, so few of them have guns. This could be good. Oh. I... I, I've been hit... I, Ian has hit me several times. God damn it, Ian. God damn it, Ian! You're gonna see a lot of deaths in this Let's Play. I'm just letting you know now. Oh, yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho! That's, that's the way that goes. Alright, let's... Let's, uh fall back a little bit and do some uh, management. We are wrecking their shit. Holy crap, I'm awesome. Also, submachine gun's awesome, not really. Oh, he knocked me down. I was critically hit, that's why. Out of ammo. I need to run. Cover me, bud! Oh, shit! Wah, wah, wah! Well... Till next time, folks, where Tex plans a little more. Just a little more. Not a lot. Upvote and subscribe at your own fucking peril. And watch some credits, huh?